What's going on, guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing the Yingling Traditional Lager. I've been looking for this stuff for years, and I finally was able to find it. Uh, it actually just arrived in my town here in southeastern Missouri. So, uh, been several years, but I'm glad to see that Yingling is finally in stores here. Really was really excited to pick this up. I didn't even I didn't even see the price on this. I just grabbed it, paid for it, and walked out the door, uh, along with some other stuff. But I saw this and I just got super super excited for it. Uh, unfortunately, it does not have an ABV on the can, which is kind of disappointing. But I did look it up. It is coming in at 4.5 percent ABV. Also, really like the vintage can design right there. So it just says Yingling Traditional Lager, Original Amber Beer. So I guess this is an amber lager. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it into a glass because I'm super excited. I've been waiting years for this moment. So we're going to see if the weight was worth it. So let's just open it up. It smells pretty good and get it into the glass. Oh, I'm spilling it. I'm spilling it again. All right, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice khaki off-white head there. Put that off to the side. It's got a nice amber appearance to it. It's not super dark or anything like that. It actually looks really good. Working with about a four finger head right there. That looks phenomenal. It smells malty. I can smell some grain, like some grassiness. It smells, it smells incredible. So, uh, yeah, I guess for some reason, out of the out of the blue, they finally started selling the stuff around me. I was never able to find it. The only place that I had ever actually seen it in person was Panama City Beach, Florida, and I actually had forgotten to grab some on the way home, so I did not have it. So this is actually my first time trying the Yingling Traditional Lager. I've been waiting for this for about four or five years, so cheers, guys. This is a uh, pretty exciting video for me. Cheers. Wow. It's silky smooth. It's got a really nice sweetness to it. It's almost, I'm almost getting like a nuttiness, like an almond or something on the back end after the, after the swallow, you taste like this aftertaste of like, like this sweet almond or some type of, some type of nuttiness to it. It's, it's actually really good. It's really clean. It's refreshing. It's a light to a medium, closer to a medium mouthfeel. Nice lacing too. Still working with about a two finger head after those two sips. It's really clean and it's re it's got a lot of flavors to it. It's it's like I said. It's got like that sweetness, like an almond. And then you taste the malt and you taste like this graininess, but it's a it's a good graininess. It's not like, and it's not bitter. I'm not tasting any bitterness. Yeah. There's really no bitterness to speak of. It's just super silky smooth. It's crisp, clean, and refreshing. And at four and a half percent, this would be a perfect session beer. Like I would pick this up. I'd pick a 12 pack of this up and enjoy this. This is awesome. I'm actually very happy that it's here now. I'm very happy that I got to try it. And I'm very happy that I'm extremely satisfied with it. Um, as far as a rating goes, 
This is a really, this is a really good beer. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get a couple of sips on this before I come to a conclusion here. That's so good. That's a very, very delicious beer. This would be a perfect beer to have with a steak. Maybe I'm just hungry, I don't know, but I'm just thinking that this would pair very well with any steak. This would be awesome. Um, as far as a rating goes, uh, I can't give it the full 10 because I don't like the fact that they don't have the ABV on the can. I understand that it's easy to just make a quick Google search and find that information out, but I would prefer to have that information on the can. But with that being said, that's not gonna affect my rating all that much. I'm still gonna hit this beer with a nine out of 10. I think it's that good. Uh, I would pick this up as my weekend, you know, sessionable beers. I would pick this up for a barbecue, really any occasion. This is the perfect beer. This is the perfect beer to pick up. I think, uh, you know, a lot of Budweiser drinkers would even probably prefer this over that. I prefer this over that by far. So, uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 for me, guys. I think this beer is excellent. I think you guys should pick it up if you are into the lager style, especially amber lagers. This is probably the best amber lager that I've had so far. It's it's just incredible. It's got such a good taste to it. That's amazing. I'm probably going to have to pick a 12-pack of this stuff up. This is really good. And like I said, I can't remember what the price was. Because as soon as I saw it, I freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, they got, they got Yingling. We got Yingling in Missouri now. Finally, thank God. But I didn't see the price because I was too excited. I just grabbed it along with my Coors Light, and I grabbed something else that that video will be out tomorrow. Uh, but I think altogether it was like 21.30 something, so I'm not exactly sure. I know the Coors Light was a little over 12 bucks for the 12 pack, and then I got the two, the two singles. But shout out to that gas station. It's called Break Time. They, uh, they've been really killing it the past couple of weeks. They always get new beers in. They get more beers in than my local liquor stores. And uh, they also don't keep beers on the shelf that's been in a can for two or three years. So just saying, shout out to them for that. So uh, yeah, that's the review, guys. If you guys have any suggestions on beers you would like me to try, leave it in the comment section below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.